What's up guys, it's Mr. Janvet and today we are back on the Pokemon Showdown server. We're going to be using Toxtricity today. Shout outs to SSJ4 Brock. We are back in business guys. Um, March has been, I apologize if you hear like rain. Because yeah, that's what that is, rain. Um, but we're back in, back in full gear guys. It's been an interesting month of March. Uh, you already know if you've been a long time uh, viewer of mine. I, we have nothing but interesting months on this channel. Um, and so I noticed the algorithm is probably not pushing my videos to most of you guys. I mean, it generally doesn't, but um, I think more so than usual. And so it's basically saying get your ass back up to uploading, which I want to do anyway. So win win. Um, but we have something special. So we have Conk Kelder today. Um, something you don't see too often anymore. Um, and in a case like this, Rillaboom's actually pretty dangerous. So, um, literally, you know, knocking Zapdos' item off and with Stealth Rocks up, which should be pretty diff pretty difficult, pretty easy. Um, with Swampert being in, um, you know, we just Grassy Glide away. Um, we also do the same thing for Conkelder's CC. Now, just noticed we're max HP, which doesn't make sense. We should be faster than fable really faster than damn Corviknight so um, the, the Hippodon is gonna have the upper hand but it won't matter too much and then um, Corviknight walls everything except Zapdos it's just a wonderful situation really um, I'll rocks first if he has toxic so be it he hurricanes please Swampert um, very poor hurricane there cuz you know Rillaboom this is his Rillaboom counter please Swampert come through Thank you. That's all I wanted. Okay, so now he could potentially flip turn. Um, I mean, he could potentially. That's fine, though. Um, should come out of confusion now. No? No. Too soon? Too soon? Um, Swamper is pretty low, which is good for him, but mm, it's not too detrimental for me. Um, I don't want Swamper gone. Uh, my Boom Burster... It's kind of dangerous. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know the roles versus hippo and whatnot. Um, I don't. If, I don't view myself sweeping with this. Why wow, I did a lot more than I expected. Um, but that's fine because I should be faster than Zapdos. And as I said, if he leaves the Zapdos in, in order to trade, then he's now Rillaboom fodder. Um. The rain sounds mad aggressive. So he, he likes to be, unless that's like a Rocky Helmet Garchomp. Um, mm, sorry, I just saw. Okay, awesome. This T-Tar is going to give me health. Nice. Nice. Um very interesting decisions by my opponent that was likely an offensive tar we had hippo i don't see why you put the rocks and i don't think tar would have died on, on the, i don't think i would have died he would have died under any other circumstance um mm, brave bird into body press should do the trick i mean i can never lose but i just know if he swords dances he'll stay in the second time though it's likely would have stayed in the first time too because he's committing to the SD. Um, yeah. But now I know for sure. So, um, pretty simple first game. I'm talking like the game's over. But um, it, it's unlikely that he'll be able to do much here. Um, you just Brave Bird on what I'm expecting to be Scale Shot. And I have Grassy Glide and Mock Punch. And a Scarfed. Um, scarfed. He actually gets 5 hits. Which won't happen again. Um, we'll roost. He's not orb. But it doesn't really matter what we do here. Um, ideally, he gets no hits. Okay, he gets hits. Gets the hits. Um, plethora of options here. Um, I like mocking. Uh, gets me the orb. He wasn't even. It was Sandvale. Uh, this does mean that I get to hit his cliff with a facade. It's unaware, which means definitely not boosting. Ooh, that's not good. 
Um, um, well, it's only cosmic power, so, um, it's not calm mind. So we're gonna find out if this has heal bell too. Um, right. Cosmic power, moon blast, soft boy, maybe heal bell. But yeah, it actually got scary <laughs> towards the end. It actually got kind of scary towards the end. The rain is pouring down, guys. Hopefully that's not interfering. Um, the mic should know better. The mic should know better. As we're facing this guy again, we've lost twice to him. We lost once because we didn't know the the Espion was eject button. And then we lost the second time because we didn't know that the Corviknight was bulk up and we couldn't beat it. And so, I'm actually pretty weak to, uh, no, I'm not super weak to bulk up Corv. Not in this one. Um... But this could be annoying. Let me think. I'm a star show smash. I don't know. Well, we have some cloister um, repellent in this game. Um, at least a bit. So, Lele, obviously, is going to be his heaviest. Um, I wouldn't call it hitter, but. Okay, so. Um, exactly what I wanted. I wanted to have Lele versus. I mean, Corviknight versus. Toxtricity, because he doesn't have an electric resist, so um, I don't take a lot of life orb recoil. A couple options here, really, but I think the one that takes the most value, and he's helmet, so he must be changing the teams. I don't think he was helmet last time, and so Lele is forced to come in here. I'm glad that Lele came in, because that means that um, soon I'll be able to. Yeah, he changed the sets. That's specs, I think. Oh, no. Oh, I'm max defense. Okay, I thought I was max special defense. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, if he goes to the Cloister, I just toxic it and then um, have Conk mock. Um, on the PP stall. So he asks for Corviknight, which means he's gonna try to get go back to Espeon. Yeah. Um, pretty cookie cutter. Uh, Psychic terrain, it might be extender. That's fine. He doesn't guard well against dark. Um, yeah, I figured he'd leave it in. Great, great. So this is good. Um, as you know, thinking about what I want to not Thunderbolt, man. Well, it makes sense if you struggle with opposing Corviknight, which I think he does. Um, so positionally, Conk is fine. I want Conk to have his Gus Orb, so where I can. Potentially mock punches cloister later on, and we're still not psychic like terrain turns. Um, because Swampert is so bulky, yeah, we're gonna lure out Lele. Um, I doubt he's gonna go for psychic anyway. It's Moonblast, right? Makes sense. And what this does is it allows for us to do whatever the hell we want. Um, I'm gonna stealth rock to punish this Lele from continually coming in because this shouldn't be defog based on what I saw last time. Uh, this should be. Um, bulk up but it is defog so he changed it okay that's this what i'm talking about it was bulk up last time i was like it was not rocky helmet if i recall correctly so rocks plus i don't even need rocks but i think rocks might be the difference between the poltergeist dying and that okay so that that makes a difference um okay so we just brave bird hard here. Uh, let's see what he has. He has U-turn. Okay, that's fine. 
he doesn't know I don't have U-turn. Um, as the Astralele, obvious psychic here. Um, let him have it. Mm -mm. Okay. You never sack Lele. But even if you do, I'm fine. Because I get Hydreigon and I get Toxicity, in which I'm trying to do. Um, but you never sack Lele here. Uh, but I've seen his Corviknight moveset. He does. Come on, man. That's so. F <clears throat> That's super frustrating, man. Like, he literally was about to get ransacked. But, um, whatever. Because uh, all his shit is sashed. So the rocks go such a long way, man. So I'm, I'm really frustrated by that one. Um,. Yeah, all his shit is sashed. Oh, you sack here. Poltergeist is fine. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Really, I could shift gear here. Because you have to... Uh, that made this game a little closer than it needed to be. Um, this made this a little closer than it needed to be. Which is, again, from that one Swampert. If Swampert got the rocks off, this game is over. I just go Hydreigon. You turn out on the Lele. And it's Toxicity versus Corviknight. And it's over from there. Or if I stayed into flip turn, he'd lose because he'd lose to Toxtricity from there. Um, but rocks to me were a little more important. Um, okay, okay. So, I'm just thinking who's most valuable. Uh, I'm a star, still slower than Hydreigon after a shell smash, I'm pretty sure. So, Cloyster is the biggest impediment. Um, what would Cloyster have to set up on? And, uh, need to, da, da, da. I'd need Lele gone, which he likely sack here. Then I control the terrain. Um... Okay, so get Rillaboom in. <clears throat> Couple options here. Obviously, Corviknight coming in would be pretty bad for me. Let me see if I look sack and go Corviknight. Yeah, that's fine. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. I made that this game a lot harder, um, but it is what it is. Because uh, there's twice he saw, he's tried to sack his Lele, which he needs Psychic Terrain for. Otherwise, um, what's his face destroys him. I mean, he still kind of gets destroyed by it because he has to go back to Lele and he gets killed. And this is why he needed the Lele before. So I need to flinch. Doesn't get the flinch. Yeah, and now it's over because the Cloister can beat everything on my team. Oh, wow, it's slower. Yeah. He must have changed it to Adamant. Now he loses. Such a weird game. I don't like how I played this. Um, I should have played this in a more of a long-term kind of way because I could have won easily in the long run, but I just figured if I get rocks up, I win this in like five turns with with um, Rillaboom. 
but he changed it to helmet and uh he changed it to helmet and and um defog and i think that's what i played the first time so when i played it the second time he changed it to bulk up and i'm playing it like it's defog and then the bulk up destroys me because i'm not prepared for bulk well that team would never beat bulk up anyway but um so you just got to be careful people are adjusting their teams and so you, you know you never know what um you run into the second time this man loves his he doesn't want to get hit by shit having to do with ground moves you see that <laughs> A man has the dual theory and Corviknight core, but um, good for uh, Tox. Toxicity is really problematic for him. Um, I just wish I knew these boom burst rolls, but I don't think I need to know too much. Um, I just need to. You know, I think Lando at seventy probably dies. Um, yeah, I don't see why not. And then um, I think I can get this to a point where conk maims enough of his members to where hydragon's dark pulse can just destroy because if you think about uh you know what can kill me back uh it's really just his hydragon um which i guess is problematic too that's why i thought this core knight was pedef um but I want Toxicity to do something. Okay, the biggest impediment to me is certainly that Hydra Gun. Uh, but this is Ladder and people love their landers. So, Swamper versus Hydra Gun would be a really, it would be a really bad matchup for me. Um, now the question is, are you special? I mean, are you Scarf as well? Which I doubt. Um, and so I'm assuming if that's the case, then my opponent would go straight to Heatran, which would leave my Swampert toxic. It's not something I want yet. Um, gonna U-turn. Okay. So he goes Corviknight instead. Okay, this is good and not good, but... The reason I'm gonna go Swamper here, even though Corviknight is a notorious defogger, is because this is again ladder. Um, I want to see how he reacts to this. In most cases, I've seen people U-turn, which would be my best case. But if he stays in to commit to it, I get the slow U-turn anyway, and then I get to go back to Toxicity anyway. So see, personally, either that tells me you're not defog. Or, I don't know, um, him going landers here is good and bad. If it's a defensive landers, I don't want to lose momentum by toxicing and you turning back out into Corviknight. I'm going to flip turn um, as he does toxic. I would have loved to have him toxic instead of flip turn, um, but it is what it is. Um, Woodhammer does KO Landers from here, but if push comes to shove, I pivot back around to Conk Elder. Um, since my Swampert is toxic, I get a banded U turn off, mm -hmm, which leave him to toxicity range. So, alright, and now Conk gets a KO, no matter what he does. Very odd, very odd, but. Um, again, that's showing me, okay, well, I don't give a fuck about your toxicity. And if that's the attitude, then that's fine. All I need to do is bait in your heat train. Now, with Corviknight, gets you a young body press off. And then I um, overdrive. I uh, set up with toxicity versus <sighs> plethora of options, really. Um, it could be toxicity versus um, Corviknight. could be toxicity versus um, um, Tornadus. I don't think I can set up versus Hydreigon, even if he's a minus two. So it could be versus Slowbro. If he doesn't lose that Slowbro here, as he opts for Torn, so this is not great. <laughs> it's not great. 
is actually a very very wise switch um, now he has this torn is really bulky uh, for him to take a guts boost to knock off that well so he has like no special attack it's max HP it could even have some defense investment um, and so he's basically like hey I'm gonna commit to potentially hitting hurricane here so this is a situation I was referring to earlier about um, Heatran coming in um, I don't know if he has U-turn so uh, he does I wanted to double switch out into oh I have helmet <laughs> so that works so now he's getting punished even more. Actually, Oscar slow, bro. Very interesting. Uh, so my man is opting for a future side situation. I've been seeing these running ice beam as of late. This is a good um, position for me to be in because the Corviknight doesn't know anything about my Hydreigon. It's not helmet. Um, and so I could see him going to Heatran, then either protecting or doubling back out into Corviknight. Uh, to see if I have the Earth power, to see if I'm choice specs, to see if I'm choice scarfed, all these delicious facts that he doesn't know. And so Torn doesn't make much sense because you don't guard well against Dark. So even if I were to not be like, it doesn't give you information. I guess you can confidently assume that I'm scarf right now. Um, If he leads this Corviknight low like he is, Rillaboom soon becomes problem. Problem. Mm. What I don't want is for one of two things, me going Swamper, Swamper momentum is good, but because I'm toxic and I have no recovery, it's not the best situation for me. As he pivots to Heatran, um, unless this is, no, it's lefties, Magma Storm is going to suck, but the momentum I get from this situation is far more valuable than the, um, but Swamper isn't that great outside of checking this. Like it, it, it is if it's at full, meaning like it doesn't die very easily and it can toxic in it. But like in a, I kill or he has like a Reggie Lecky that I really need to wall kind of situation. No, um, and because his torn is now taking rocks. Um, now because his torn is is taking rocks, uh, if he puts conk in front of the wrong Pokemon he gets destroyed and toxicity I think probably needs Hydreigon at a certain range to do any kind of damage and so you know there's the slow bro so many options for this um, but you see he made the sloppy play of switching his Corviknight out it's just gonna be coming at 50 something mm, it might live too I might live too. So what I'll do is hide you gun here because I know he won't leave the slow bro in. Um, he won't leave the slow bro in on this. Uh, so at worst, well, yeah, I could see him if he thinks I'm scarfed. He probably tanks a dark pulse. Yeah, he does leave it in. Um, the moment I said that I was like okay actually that's not completely true um, yeah yeah his team is is quite bulky uh, uh, I need him to either miss his magma storm or um, he doesn't but eventually he will can't hit all of them. Mm. Yeah, I need to rethink this because he's he's very confident and comfortable with his walls. So what I'll do, um, what I'll do is he does he goes hydro which I completely disagree with, like completely. Now he has gen literally no dark resist. Hmm. Um, I said he has to eventually miss a Magma Storm, right? And switch one. Uh, I 
I'm just thinking whether I'd rather have Corviknight or Swampert. I'd rather have Corviknight. Corviknight actually needs to be healed because he's torn. There it is. It's like you can't hit all of them, bro. <laughs> Ridiculous. But um, I actually need to heal my Corviknight. I'm thinking so much in the finishing him as quickly as possible that I'm, I'm not factoring in him potentially doing something to me. Now, the way his team is structured, he doesn't... He seems like I'm a... What? He seems like I'm a... What just happened? <laughs> I had to sit, like, stop again and be like, wait, what? He seems very much like I, I want to play it safe type of player. Um, and so, uh, Landers comes in. I believe I never knocked his item off, so this should do a sizable amount, right? I um, mean, he's le toxic leftovers, which implies that he probably doesn't have anything to touch Corviknight. Maybe knock. Um, gravity. Interesting. This is a very weird um, style of player. Um, very weird style of player. But he got me on the toxic there. Um... very weird and, that, and that's what is weird to you okay you were willing to sack your landers um, okay uh, willing to sack landers um, just thinking what I'd go to now okay this is fine yeah you were willing to sack landers um, to which was just Toxicity outspeeds and beats your entire team. You know, there's just certain things that I look at that I'm like, no way he doesn't realize this. You know, stuff like that. Um, but no, nah, I'm guess not. I'm guess not. Like, like all I need to do now is get Corviknight versus Toxicity, and this game's over. Very odd. Very very odd. Um, Which might be now, actually. Uh, mm, I don't want any hex versus tox. I'll sack Corviknight here. Let him hurricane. Mm -hmm. And I just dark pulse here. He might live, but it's fine even if he does. As long as I don't go down. What we're trying to do is get Corviknight in. Versus Toxtricity. And if he doesn't do what I want, then Hydreigon is going to sweep by itself. Like if he doesn't heal the Corviknight. So, slow bro, sack. Okay. So here's the free switch into the Corviknight you've been wanting. Right. And as I said, if he doesn't heal it, then he's going to get ramsacked. Right. Do I kill Corviknight here? If I kill Corviknight, then we're looking at. I should don't know the roll on Heatran. Shift gear plus Drain Punch should do it. Yeah, Shift gear plus Drain Punch should do it. After Rocks damage, it's not Fizz Death Heatran, and I get an attack boost. Hmm. Heatran is gonna come in at fifty something. I think now it's hit him like, oh shit, I didn't think about, you know, the fucking heat train. I guess I don't need to necessarily shift gear, because I take a mind from him here. I just like to mini sweep with the Troxtricity if possible. Uh, that's not what I am. I am some other, fuck it. It's just overdrive here and just take the value. Um, then after that, I can just go to my Hydreigon versus his... Oh, it lived. Wow. Brave Birds. Makes sense. So, Overdrive. I mean, Shift Gear would have been the play there. But, yeah. Um, Corviknight being gone is also great. Because, you know, Conk is a problem. Or Laboon's a problem. All these things are problems. And Heatran is just not fast enough for all these problems. 
Um, so then he has to go to Torn. And um, that's going to be it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it was better to actually, um, I think if I go Conk, Mach first, if I go Rilla, Glide first, then go Hydre. I'm just thinking about the quickest way to, or the most secure way to handle this. If I go Hydreigon, Dark Pulse, then go to Conk, Mach. I mock twice into Grassy Glide. He should die no matter what. Um, I don't even think I die to um, Hurricane anyway. U turns. Okay. I think that guarantees the game being over. Let me think. Pulse. Mock. Plus Glide. Yeah. This should be over. I don't want to switch around too much. So the base on which he took there, um, what's his face would have definitely done the trick. Um, I don't think Torn can survive two mocks. Certainly can't survive mock into glide after rocks. Yeah. So, um, very odd game as I said. That one was. It, it, I just was shocked at the lack of regard for the electric resist. Um, or keeping an electric immunity. So, again, based on how much Dark Pulse did, then. So, he might have been like max speed, max HP, because his Magma Storms were doing 14% to my Somper. So, he wasn't special invested. Um, so, maybe max HP, max speed. Um, but yeah, that's where we're going to end the live for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Um, very cool team. Toxicity did its thing. And we're getting back into the swing of things. So hit the like button down below. Get, get this channel running once again. Um, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.